And he's reached peak Troy Bolton hair. I love that too. He has he has reached yeah. peak Troy Bolton yeah. hair. We're yeah. here. Yeah. We're here. First of all, I love the return of the orange wall. It's always the orange wall. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Love the hoodie. Yeah, I know. Thank you. That. Good to see you two again. Congratulations on this new season. What excited you the most when you heard that you were changing locations? I mean, there's so much fun and new adventures that come with being at camp and uh, so much nostalgia with it as well. So I think we were really excited to take on this new adventure and really run with it. One of the more exciting things about this season was the fact that it, we were in a whole new setting, a whole new change of scenery. And and it, it kind of brings, even though we still have the, the same uh, show and it's still the same heart of the show, um, it, it adds a whole new freshness to it and a whole new sense of uh, just newness to the show. And obviously there's new characters and new, um, you know, uh, just areas around camp that I think are so much fun to film in. and. Overall, it was just a blast to be in a new space outside, getting to be outside so much in the sun, breeze in your hair. It was just beautiful. I love being outside. It gives you that extra sense of uh, excitement and love. And it was just great. Yeah, you know, when you say the word summer camp and it's going to be a summer camp season, you really don't know where they could go with the storylines. I mean, it could be anything. So I think that was fun getting the scripts and like reading like what was going on. Um, it definitely was a tween drama. So uh, it was pretty fun. And I feel like this season, oh my gosh, the comedy of this season is my favorite. It is so much fun to be able to bring comedy with drama. I mean, I feel like our fans are going to be like, uh, T, hold on. Wait, what, 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 so-and-so did what? They're, they're going to absolutely fall in love with it and, you know, maybe have some some serious discussions with certain things that happen. And I'm, I'm just really excited for them to see it. I feel like everybody's going to relate to Courtney not being able to have your phone, you know? When that gets taken <laughs> yeah. away, you're just kind of like, it's a shock. <laughs> Oh, take it away. Uh uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I think it was taking a dynamic that was really solid with the Wildcats and saying, what if we threw it all up in the air and sent them to a summer under the sun and under the stars? And, you know, when there's no parents and no curfews and no rules, um, wacky stuff happens. Uh, and I love the actors so much that I thought if we skipped a whole summer and went right back to school, we'd be missing such a storytelling opportunity. So ultimately it just presented itself pretty naturally. Right, because in real life, that's when all the fun happens is summer, right? Everybody summer. gets in trouble, they do all no this No rules, <laughs> yeah. And I feel like the setting though, leaves it open for some fun things to kind of happen behind the scenes. Like you never know when, you know, outdoors something, a tree could fall over there or, or you mm -hmm. could run into some animal over here while you're trying to film. Do you have any fun behind the scenes stories? There's actually one night that I specifically specifically remember with Dara uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that we were we were filming. So we, we had a lot of night uh, uh, night like filming uh, nights where we film all throughout the night. So uh, it was uh, one specific night. It was very late. It was very dark. Uh, and all of a sudden, a whole lot of coyotes start like howling and just going crazy. Like, it sounded like there were like 30 coyotes. It was a lot, because we're in the middle of the woods and uh, kind of like in a mountain. And all of a sudden I look at Dara and Dara is freaking out, like freaking out. And it was, I, I felt so bad, but I just had to laugh. And I love you so much, Dara, but it was so funny at how Dara literally thought like, she thought it was done. She thought she was done. Like she thought these coyotes were gonna come and just drag her away. No, because everybody was so still. And I was like, y'all, should we be leaving? Like, sounds like more than one. You just gotta shove one of them in front of you then. You'd be yeah. like, take you first. And I was like, ooh, and Matt's gonna be first, you know. I gotta let Matt go first because you're tall, Matt. So they'll well, take a on you. Yeah, that's, that's what'll happen. Lots of bugs. Um, the bugs were real. Um, but I think the most fun is just really getting to bond with those people. You know, when we did like a lot of overnight shoots. And so when you're all like covered in blankets and you're all like hiding in one tent because you're like the little heaters right there. Um, I think that's when you're, the true bonding comes out. And so those moments I'll always remember. Yeah, um, Frankie actually reminded me earlier today that we had to go through not like training, that's really dramatic for me to say, but we had to like have a little seminar on what it would be like if we encountered a bear while filming <laughs> or a mountain lion or coyote or whatever. So that was pretty real. Um, 
And then of course we would like camp out on the camp lawn and have picnics for lunch. And, you know, I was getting sunburned every day, which I didn't care about because I was enjoying being outside with my friends. And um, yeah, it really felt like real camp. It was super cool. I love getting to see the progression of each of your characters. Um, you know, we're getting to see EJ now in a relationship again. We have Courtney, she's away from her significant other. What were you excited to explore with your character this season that maybe you haven't gotten to? I really liked exploring uh, the vulnerability aspect of Courtney. Um, I feel like this season, um, we got to touch on something that I also struggle with, which is anxiety. Um, and I feel like for Courtney, um, really being able to represent that and to show it accurately was, was really interesting. And I got to even bring my own experiences and my own mantras that I say to the screen, which was, which was really fun. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really appreciated that. And, and when I got a chance to write a song for the show, what I was thinking is what I was ex experiencing during a panic attack and an anxiety attack. So uh, being able to bring those moments for Courtney and those layers was was really fun. Yeah, I think, I mean, just overall getting to uh, see EJ at the place where he is so comfortable and like so excited to be. Like he obviously grew up at this camp. Um, he has a lot of history at this camp and I think everything in this camp excites him and he's like a kid in a candy store at this camp. Um, so getting to play all of those moments of, of seeing all of his, his fellow Wildcats experiencing their first, like the first, you know, bugle sound in the morning, their first, uh, their first sense of camp traditions, their first, you know, gathering at, uh, at the amphitheater, like all these, all these things that he's been telling them about for so long and now they're getting to experience them. I think it's so exciting because I, I, I truly did just kind of get to feel like a kid and play a kid and just like be goofy and fun and excitable and all that. I'm for people to see that and kind of see the journey that Carlos goes on because especially last year, we kind of saw him struggling to come into the spotlight and then he gets a taste of it. And then he kind of takes that to camp thinking like, all right, this is the next, this is my journey. Um, and you know, that kind of gets flipped on his head. So I'm kind of excited for people to see that journey. Yeah, I think Carlos and Ashlyn are sort of going on similar journeys when the camp first starts out. They're both super codependent on their boyfriends who are not joining them at camp this summer. And they're both coming off of the high of being a lead in Beauty and the Beast. And how is that going to translate in this new environment where they don't have Miss Jen to advocate for them and, you know, um, cast them as the leads again. And so, um, you know, it's, it, it's going to be a really cool summer of of challenges and hardships and people evolving and really showing their true colors. The song you sing in uh, like your episode is really, really good. I know I can't talk Thank about you. it, but, yeah, but I just oh. wanted to let you know. And you're upping it with the guest stars. Every season, I'm just like, wait, you got who now? Um, what was it like when you went and, and pitched it for these people and you actually got them? Such a dream. With, with Jesse, Tyler Ferguson, who's an old friend, I texted him and I said, I mean, this is kind of spoilery, but I said, you know, do you want to come play? <laughs> he texted back right away and was like, yes, I would like that. Um, Jojo Siwa, I've been trying to get on the show for a long time. She was finally contractually able to. And I think we created a role that was really symbolic and important for her. And, uh, and all of our guests, Corbin Blue, Meg Donnelly, Jason Earls, um, Liamani Segura, who comes on the show this season later on, Aria Brooks, who's a big movie star, who plays a young camper. They were all such dreams. And we try to have a really good vibe set that people are proud to work at. And uh, and it, I, think, I think it shows on camera this season. I think it's a really fun season. And with these original songs, you I've watched three episodes. They are amazing every time. How do you balance when you're gonna do you know, a number of original songs, but also you are putting in these medleys or you're putting these tributes to Frozen and these other Disney yeah. properties. We try to do like one brand new song per episode and one or two kind of covers. That's sort of the formula. Um, and uh, and then, you know, it's a half hour kind of mockumentary, soapy, dramedy. And so there's only so much time for everything, but ultimately we, we try to do a little something for, for everybody. <laughs> One could say the stakes have never been higher. And one will. The stakes have never been higher. Oh!